Welcome back to 3 to 1 exam. Now we are going to continue where we stopped, okay? So let's feel like so. Now let's do our, our next question. 2013, question number 3. Now say, what volume of carbon 2 oxide is produced by reacting excess carbon with 10 dm cube of oxygen? Now this is Gay-Lussac's law. And we, we, we did questions like this based that looks similar to this. Now, what volume of carbon two oxide is produced? Produced, that is our product. So mark this, is produced by reacting, our reactant, by reacting carbon with oxygen. So from here, we can even get our equation. How? Now, look at this. By reacting what? Carbon with oxygen. Now, carbon... I get to me. Sorry, carbon I wrote calcium. Carbon reacts with oxygen to give me carbon two oxide. And let's balance it. Let's balance it. This two, two. If we put two here, we've made oxygen two, we've made carbon two, so we'll put two here. So this is two is to one is to two. Balanced. I get to me. Now you need to know how to write this equation. Reacting. Look at the English. Why allow the English confuse you? I wish I can speak the three languages of Nigeria. I will have used Alsa, Igbo, and Yoruba to explain this so that you understand. My aim is that you'll get this. You understand it. But it's unfortunate. It's only one language I can speak. Sorry, yeah. So if I speak only that language, some people are losing. So no. This is not just for a specific tribe, it's for the whole Nigerian. All the whole Nigerians are writing down. So I'll break it down now. What volume of carbon two oxide is produced? Produced. That means that is your what? Product. Your what? Product. And I told you in a reaction, reactants combine to give what? Product. Are you getting me? So now, by reacting, you're talking about reactant excess carbon with 10 dm cube of oxygen that means carbon is reacting with oxygen now oxygen is a diatomic gas now some of you say why did i not put two here why did i not put c2 plus o2 some of you if you want to write this equation you now say c plus o to give me co no I'm going to give you a logic for you to know elements that exist, um, element that exists as diatomic gas when writing an equation. When you mean diatomic, you put two. Are you getting me? And the ones that exist as monatomic. I'm going to tell you the group of elements that do that. When you say diatomic gas, two elements combining, two the same elements, like oxygen, O2, O plus O, O2. Are you getting me? Now, Group one elements to group four elements. Are you getting me? Group one element to what? Group four elements exists as monatomic elements or monatomic. They are monatomic in nature. Are you getting me? Group one to group four elements are monatomic in nature. Why group five to group seven? are diatomic in nature when writing a chemical equation. Now, somebody will ask, how do I know this group? No, you don't need to craft the periodic table to know the group. Now, you know the group an element belong to by the valence electron. If I ask you now, sodium is in one group, what group is sodium? Somebody will now be guessing. Mm, group five. Mm, group three. Mm, group one. It's not something you guess, something you know. You don't need to craft the periodic table to know it. How do you know it? The valence electron. You know that sodium is 11. 2 is to 8 is to 1. The valence electron there is what? 1. That means sodium is in group what? 1. Magnesium is in what group? Mm, 4. If I ask maybe in class, somebody will say 4. Somebody there will say, somebody will say 10. A lot of magic, a lot of magic. God forbid. A lot of magic. Somebody do this. Somebody, if somebody is saying 10, do this, do this, do this. Say it's not my portion. 
it's not my fault <laughs> because we don't have group in group 10 does not exist in chemistry anybody who is saying that maybe the chemistry textbook they wrote in your house no 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 you need to see a strong deliverance pastor magnesium is in what group the, what is the valence electrode for magnesium magnesium is number 12 in the periodic table so if we check it 2 is to 8 is to 2 the valence electron there is what 2 I and mean, magnesium is in group what group 2 oxygen is in what group oxygen is number 8 in the periodic table so when you check it is 2 is to 6 I and mean, oxygen is in what group 6 so you know the group and element belong to by the valence electron and you know the period and element belong to by the number of shells what do i mean look at this look at this for example sodium 2 is to 8 is to 1. Now, this K, L, M, N. Now, we stop at shell number M. So, what is the valence electron? The valence electron here is 1. That means it's in group 1. Period what? Period 3. 1, 2, 3. Are you getting me? Carbon, for example. Carbon is 6. If I put this, I have 2 is to 4. That means carbon is in group 4. Period what? Two. Do you get me? So you know the group of elements belong to by the valence electron. You know the period by the number of shells. So what is that telling you? That group one to group to group one elements to group four are diatom uh, monoatomic. Sorry, in nature, we're writing the chemical equation. You don't need to put two. But group five to group seven are diatomic in nature. Like carbon is group four elements so you don't put two now all these are tips for you that's going to help you in your chem in your race in chemistry as you're preparing for your jam oxygen is group six you put two something like nitrogen nitrogen maybe let's say formation of ammonia ammonia is nh3 it's formed by the combination of nitrogen and oxygen nitrogen what's nitrogen molecule oxygen molecule diatomic in nature because nitrogen is in group 5. Now, as an exception to this is hydrogen. Hydrogen exists. Now, the only exception to this is hydrogen. Hydrogen exists as a diatomic gas. It's a diatomic gas. Now, I'm not putting group 8 elements, which are um, rare gases, because rare gases don't react in an equation because they are stable. Are you getting me? They are stable. Hydrogen is diatomic in nature. So whenever you're writing an equation and you're including hydrogen, you must put two. It exists as a molecule. It's a diatomic gas. Are you getting me? Nitrogen is group five, so it's diatomic. But some people don't want to write this equation. They'll put some of it. This is what you do. N plus H3. Is it will give me NH3. No. Your reactant must not be the same with the product. Give the right equation. That's why we have room for balancing of equation. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. That's why I have room for balancing of equation. Like, like what we did here initially, we gave, before I balance this, I gave the right equation. Carbon is group four, so it's monatomic. When you say monatomic, you, it exists alone. You don't need to put, you don't need to combine with itself. So you don't need to put two. Oxygen is diatomic because it's in group six. I get to say I put two to give me CO, carbon two oxide. Are you getting me? Now, I don't need to put C plus O to get CO. No, I've given the right equation, then I balance. Like this one, this is the right equation. What do I do? I balance. If I put 2 here, and I put 3 here, it's balanced. Are you getting me? So, writing your equation in Gay-Lussac's law is very, very important. Drafting the equation from the question, then balancing it. If you, if you can balance the equation, you get the answer. If you understood what I say, say, uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, if you understood what I'm saying, say, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let me do like whiskey. If you understand what I'm doing, say, yeah, yeah. I can't hear you say, yeah, yeah. Some of you say, this teacher self. I've never seen this kind of teacher in my life. Yes, that's why my name is Mr. Dave. Shop not cool. Good. Now, they say, what volume of carbon two oxide is produced by reacting excess carbon with 10 centimeter... Then DM cubes of oxygen. 
And they say, what volume of this is produced? By reacting. By reacting. So now, 10 centimeter cube of this, by reacting. So they're telling you when the reaction is taking place. Now, if this is 10 centimeter cube of this, now how many mole? One mole. Then the two mole, carbon, because it's two, it now turned to what? 20. Then this one, it now turned to what? 20. Because of the number of moles works with the combining volumes. Am I getting me? So if this is 10 dm cube and it's, it's to 1, then the one that will be it to 2, it will be just 2 times this 10, which is what? 20. And this one will be what? 20. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. So the answer is what? 20 dm cube, which is D. Simple. So you see that if your equation is wrong and your balancing is wrong, you fail it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Good. Now let's go to the last question before we go to a new topic. Now, <laughs> how many of you love chemistry? Just raise up your hand. You love chemistry. Now I want you to say to yourself, say, call your name. Say, I, so, 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 so. I will excel in chemistry in my jump. I will score nothing less than 80 over 100. So help me God. Good. Good. So just relax. I believe in you. I believe you can get it. I believe in you. So believe in yourself and trust God more. Okay? Just believe in yourself. I believe in you. Now let's do the last question. Say, a solution of calcium bromide contains 20 grams per dm cube. Good. What is the molarity of the solution with respect to calcium bromide and bromide ions. Now, this 20 gram per dm cube is our mass concentration. Remember, our molar concentration will be what? Mole per what? dm cube. Now, let's look for key, key, key things here now. A solution of calcium bromide. Now, how will calcium bromide be written? Now, let's give calcium. Now, they did not give you the equation. So, you have to bring out the equation yourself. Calcium have a charge of 2 plus. Bromine. Bromine is, is belong to group 7. Now, group 7 elements, we have chlorine, we have fluorine, we have bromine, we have iodine. So, and I told you that the group, you know, the group and element belong to by the valence electron. So it be, it it belongs to group seven. There are group seven elements because of what? It has seven valence electrons. And an element that has seven valence electrons, how many does that element need to attain octet state, which is eight? How many? I can't hear you. What do you talk? Eh? One. So it's needing one. So. Since it's needing one, it's not going to be what? Br minus. Bromine, chlorine, iodine, fluorine belong to the same group. But they are arranged in their way of reactivity. Fluorine is the most reactive. Are you getting me? So, if I now cross multiply, 1 times Ca will give me Ca. 2 times Br will give me what? Br2. Calcium bromide. You understand what I'm talking about? You understand what I'm talking about? Very, very simple. So now, the, a solution of calcium bromide contains, we've already given calcium bromide, this. So, 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 so what is the molarity of the solution with respect to calcium bromide and bromide ions? Now, before we continue, let's give the equation for the reaction. Because they, they talked about bromide ions. So there's no way we'll produce bromide ion. We'll get the molarity for bromide ion when we don't dissociate or ionize this. You need to ionize this. So when this ionizes, we'll have Ca2 plus. I get it. Plus what? Br minus. And you can now put two. I get to me. So now, now they say what is the molarity? What is the molarity of first? 
calcium bromide. So we'll calculate for calcium bromide first before we now calculate for bromide ions. Now calcium bromide, what is the molar mass of calcium bromide? Molar mass of calcium bromide. The molar mass of calcium bromide, calcium is what? Ca plus 2Br. So Ca is what? 40 plus 2. What's our Br? Our Br is what? 80. Are you getting me? So when I add this, I'm going to get what's what? 200. Now remember, are you getting me? Remember, when we talk about um, calculating for molarity, now when you talk about molarity, you're talking about um, concentration of a substance in mole per dm cube. Are you getting me? So molarity, which is molar concentration, molarity is the same thing as molar concentration because it's a mole per dm cube. So our molarity, molarity, or molar concentration is equal to mass concentration all over molar mass. Now, I, I gave you, I taught you this, right? If you go back, you see where we did it on that geometry. Molar concentration is the mass concentration over molar mass. So, what is my mass concentration? The mass concentration is what? 20 grams. So it equals to 20 grams. What is my molar concent molar mass? My molar mass, sorry, gram per mole, is what? 200. So 0 will cancel 0. 2 year 1, 2 into 20, 10. The mass is equal to 0 0.1. Yes. I get to me. So we've gotten the mass, so the molarity of calcium bromide now let us calculate the molarity of bromide ion okay now let's calculate for bromide ion now let, let me bring out this equation here so that you, you understand it better cabr2 and you see a2 plus plus 2br minus now some of you ask why did i put two here i put two here because how many br do i have two how many CA do I have? One. Are you getting me? So that's why I put what? BR here. Two BR, one CA. Do you get that? Good. <clears throat> now, let's, let's, let's continue. Now, when we solved the molarity based on the question, if you check this, I have one. Sorry, let me write it well. One is to one is to two. So what is that telling you? One mole. I get to me. One mole of this is giving you what? Two mole of this. Mole is coming from the molarity. I get in. So if one will give me two, then from the question 0 0.1. 0 0.1 molarity. Oh, let me remove the mole so that you'll not be confused. <laughs> 0 0.1, I get 0 0.1, will give me what? X, I cross what? Multiply. I guess when I cross multiply, I have X is equal to 0 0.1 times what? 2. Which is going to give me what? 0 0.2. What? Simple. So, 0 0.1 for the calcium bromide. And 0 0.2 for what bromide ion. Are you getting me? So what's my answer? Let's check B. 0 0.1, 0 0.2. So now this brings us to the end of this topic.